How's it going guys? It's Epsilon here and today's RuneScape 3 video will be on the Yak Track. Obviously that came in very recently this week. We're going to have a look at what rewards you can get, which is the best route to take throughout the various different stages of Yak Track. Is it worth it overall? And then we'll give our opinion on the various different stages, which, uh, which route you should be taking, you know, task A or task B uh, for the various different ones. And then uh, a look at the sort of stages you should use your... Um, skip skip tokens on if you've managed to actually grind out some of these um so yeah hopefully you uh you guys will enjoy and obviously if you aren't already subscribed to the channel then make sure to do that and comment your kind of process with the act track which uh, kind of tasks that you actually skip if you get them which stages you find are going to be probably the hardest ones and then we'll get right into it right now so first things first obviously when you first start the act track you will be given this kind of uh, this initial task where you either go and talk to an NPC uh, in Berthorpe which is really easy and that's the one you want to be doing or you can just skill and uh, skill and kill uh, in task B which is fairly easy it's not going to take you much time to be able to complete this task um, but for, for sake of this video obviously you can just go and talk to an NPC it's going to be much quicker overall now obviously with that you'll get a cosmetic override which anyone that actually has it will be able to earn along with a small prismatic lamp and a silver hawk down. Not too bad for the beginning reward but you know as you go on throughout the, the tiers you'll be able to get much better rewards from this and you'll see that in, in a little bit. Now as far as tier 2 you'll get the wood cutting or fire making this is task a this is the one you want to do. Obviously you just go to somewhere like Prif where you can just like uh, a bonfire you know. Uh, that way it's going to get through the logs really quickly. Uh, you probably don't want to be woodcutting because it will take a lot longer, um, more than likely, unless obviously you've got Inferno adds uh, the relic, which means that you can just um, kind of uh, burn the logs as you cut them, which is going to make it quicker. But um, for those of you in general, I think fire making is going to be the way to go with this one, or you could uh, just do some Slayer, but that will probably take you longer. Um, with this, obviously, you get another cosmetic kind of um, item, which is the Seren Crystal Sword. Uh, nothing too special, um, and you certainly get these uh, with the Premier Pass, which if you have Premier Club, which is 100% worth it on RuneScape, uh, then definitely uh, purchase that on Black Friday if it comes out or during the summer. Sometimes they do a 50% discount on the Premier Club, and that is definitely the way to go with membership, at least for me anyway, um, buying the yearly pass because... You know, it's the same price as paying for half of the year on its own. Anyway, now for for level three, you can get the Seren Crystal Bow and the uh, Seal Clue Scroll Easy. I mean, nothing too special there. But all you have to do is recover one relic, which is very easy. It's an archaeology task. You'll be able to complete that really, really quickly in game. And then the second one being Skill and Kill, which is, yeah... It's, it's the longer one and it's kind of one of those that uh, they put in there just as you can be able to do it uh, quickly or, or over time doing various different tasks. But if you choose the tasks that are specific to a specific skill, you'll be able to kind of barrel on through all of the levels within the uh, Yak track at least. Now... Uh, so task number four we've got cooking or fishing or clue scrolls every single time i will go with uh cooking because it's fairly quickly you know you can get through loads and loads of items within the task and so it's much much quicker than actually doing some of the clue scrolls at least in my opinion anyway uh, depending on how efficient you are at clue scrolls and stuff like that but generally cooking easy afk you can do it in the background whilst you're doing some other things in game uh, you don't get two good rewards. We'll only go uh, and tell you about the rewards when we get some cosmetic items from uh, each tier. Now, at number five, you'll get this Hector Hair Pet, which is, you know, it's interesting. It's just like a, a, a rabbit kind of thing, a hair, technically. Uh, and then you'll have these two tasks, crafting or uh, skill and kill. Every day of the week you want to go with crafting. Fairly easy to do. To do. Doesn't take too long. Um, yeah, definitely the one you want to go for. Then moving on, you get another um, another weapon, basically. The Seren Crystal Two-Handed Sword at level 6, which is okay, I guess. Uh, but this one, you either earn Marks of War, which is fairly easy. You know, just uh, taking out some bosses. If you're interested in that, then yeah. Um, otherwise, you'll have to do the Seren Spirit Hunt, which you have to go to an NPC, I think. And then you do... Um, 
a couple of things there. It'll probably be quicker to do task A, um, depending on how fast you can uh, you can earn marks of war, but it's up to you uh, which one you actually decide to do um, for level 6. Then moving on, we have level 7, uh, mining or skill and kill. I would personally probably go with uh, mining or I would actually just use this as something when I'm, I'm taking a little bit of a break off of um, the act track to be able to do some other things because um, and then I'll just leave myself to be able to get the um, the second task because mining is tend to be a slower task for, for most people unless obviously you want to power through it and you're doing something like copper. Um, but yeah, it depends which one you want to do up to you and if you're trying to power through then the mining will probably be good but you want to be doing something like copper which is super easy and uh, you, you'll be able to get pretty much one every single uh, tick in game then moving on uh, another cosmetic here in the form of the mourner's mask cosmetic override which is kind of cool looking uh, you, you've got smithing and, and mini games with this you'll probably want to do the smithing just because it's quicker I mean this is potentially one you might want to use a skip ticket for uh, if you've got a lot of them but uh, usually you want to use the skip tickets as you get further up because the challenges get harder uh, so maybe uh, hold off for a little bit and use the smithing um, one uh, as your one to be able to get this this one. Then moving on, we have archaeology excavation or skill and kill. Obviously, go with archaeology. Pretty quick. If you want to do it super quick, what you can do is you can just go to um, the Zaros one to get the Venator daggers, or you can get it with the uh, the crossbows. So yeah. Depends which one you want to go for. It will be much quicker if you if you use those ones, and obviously it's not going to be too long uh, before you actually progress. Uh, moving on, then you get the Iowerth Warrior Cosmetic Override. So this is actually kind of a cool one um, to be able to pick up. Obviously, it's a whole costume kind of thing. Um, you, you can basically pick that up fairly easily. You know, ten levels is not going to take you an eternity, and it certainly is going to be quite useful for you to actually get. I guess for if you're interested in cosmetics and stuff like that and then the first big thing that you can get is obviously agility XP plus two percent for the duration of the yak track so if you complete the yak track really quickly you can get quite a few of these plus two percent boosts and stuff throughout the thing and you also get 500 oddments with that but you do need the premier pass so it really depends on if you've got the premier pass whether you want to actually grind through the yak track and, and make your way towards um, tier 50 but we will get there eventually then moving on we're going to kind of skip through the rewards to be honest because if you want to have a look at them you can yourself uh, but the next one 11 you've got wandering yak uh, or skill and kill so obviously do the wandering yak one uh, then we've got dungeoneering or thieving you probably want to go with um, thieving to be honest with you it'll probably be quicker then you get the Iowerth warhammer and some protein power ups uh, depending on if you've got premier uh, then we've got the number 13, Archaeology Screening or Skill and Kill. Obviously go with the screening, fairly quick to be able to do that and you'll get some decent rewards. Then Herb Law or Fishing, uh, every day of the week go with Herb Law because you can get some decent XP and also uh, complete this fairly quickly. Fishing, depending on what you're fishing, uh, is going to take a little longer than Herb Law because you can guarantee some quick potion making uh, and so you'll probably complete this a lot quicker. Then we have uh, number 15, you can get the Buck Stag Pet and 2% bonus Archaeology XP for the duration of Yak Track, which is also really good uh, if you want to be able to do that. You get Cooking or Prayer XP uh, or Cooking or Prayer Task and Skill and Kill. Obviously go with Cooking if you can or alternatively if you are grinding out some Prayer XP then you can actually do that really quickly or what you can do is often uh, you can just bury bones like straight away without having to go to an altar or anything to do it super quick um, instead of, of doing all of this kind of um, cooking or, or actually going to an altar uh, but that's for those of you who are just trying to grind through it as fast as possible then number 16 you want to go with uh, summoning or fletching uh, particularly probably want to go with fletching because you can do some really really quick methods to grind through that um, or summoning definitely probably don't want to be doing our agility to be honest with you because uh, that will take quite a long time then number 17 fishing or mining you want to go with uh, the 
fishing probably you probably want to go with that um, although this is potentially one you want to skip because depending on how long the cruise clue scrolls are uh, maybe that might be a better one to do um, but it's up to you might be worth a skip on this one then 18 you can get divination or skill and kill obviously you want to be doing divination if you can um, but this is kind of where they start to get a little bit harder and they take a lot more time to be able to do. Um, but obviously, if you can just sit there in AFK Divination, then it's going to be fairly quick um, in terms and not really that intensive for you to be able to do. Then number 19, Archaeology. This should be pretty easy for you guys. The Archaeology ones tend to be really quick and so they're the ones I always prefer to do on these Yak Track events. Then moving on, we have runecrafting or construction. You probably want to be doing um, construction since you don't have to you know, risk going into the wilderness. But for those of you who may want to do that, then it is a viable option. Although fa both of them are fairly fast, especially if you set up right in your house, then yeah, it's, either one is a good option and depends on which one you'd rather get more XP in uh, when grinding through this yak track. Then moving on, Seren Spirit Hunt or the Task B. Obviously depends on whether you enjoyed the first task um, earlier on in the Yak Track as to whether you want to do this or maybe you just want to take this time uh, on this level to just grind out some other things within the game to earn this skill and kill, uh, which get rewarded to you every so often. But it really depends uh, on what you want to do. Then moving on, number 22, farming or play mini games. Obviously probably want to be doing the farming but this is another one that you know if you've got plenty of yak track maybe you want to skip depending on on how much the farming requirement is uh, to be able to complete it now then we get number 23 you've got a mourner's cape cosmetic override and some pulse cores and cinder cores you get brayer or smelting uh, or slayer so if you're currently doing a lot of slayer then this one will be pretty obvious for you uh, but for the quickness or the speed then prayer is one that i will always go for on the at track since you can literally just bury like big bones or whatever uh, that is really really quick to be able to do number 24 thieving or fire making or skill and kill uh, i tend to go with fire making because it's pretty afk and it's pretty quick to be able to complete these then i got a seren crystal prayer um emote which is kind of cool um and Nelly Owl Pet, so that's kind of cool at level 25. So this is kind of like the big one. You also get 2% more agility XP and a 1,000 oddments. So that's quite a big one in terms of the rewards. And it's one that you'll probably want to get to if you are going to do any of the act tracks uh, overall. Now in terms of how to complete it, Herb Law or Summoning depends on which one you kind of want. They're both fairly similar in terms of the amount of time that it's going to take you to actually complete them. So it's up to you which one you go with. Uh, but personally I'll be going with Herb Law since I'm not actually maxed in Herb Law at XP yet. So yeah, that's where I'm going to be uh, focusing my efforts. Then moving on, number 26, uh, Traitor in Our Midst or Crafting. Do the Traitor in Our Midst because that's going to be the quickest one. Then you want to do Archaeology Excavation at level 27. Um, then 28, you want to do Divination, unless you want to do lots of Dungeoneering. Uh, there'll probably be like complete like five floors or something, so it really depends on how many Divination uh, things that you have to do. So depending on that will depend upon uh, which one you do, but I guess it would be fairly even between the time it takes for this one. Then moving on, number 29, Fishing or Herb Law or Hunter. So obviously go with Herb Law because that's the quickest one generally. Um, so yeah, that's the one I'd be going for. And then at level 30, another kind of biggish one, you'll get the Iowerth Elite Warrior Cosmetic Override, the Iowerth Halbert, Halberd, 2% more Archaeology XP and some oddments as well. Uh, in terms of completing this quickly, you kind of one of those that, you know, you've got farming, so it tends to take quite a long time to be able to complete the farming one, so you'll probably just want to take this as kind of a slower one where you, where you just do whatever you want to do uh, in this time uh, when you're grinding out the act track. Then number 31, cooking or smelting, go with cooking. Uh, clue scrolls and smelting will take too long. Um, well, smelting takes fairly quickly, especially if you use um, the super heat form and you're using the gloves. Uh, makes them fairly quickly, so it is kind of a split. But for me personally, I will go with cooking because, uh, you know, I can just do that on the AFK. I don't have to uh, come back as often, but so smelting. So that's just my personal opinion on which one I'd want to pick. 
Then at level 32, uh, you can get some more um, kind of cosmetics. Uh, you want to be doing the archaeology screening or prayer. So they're both very easy ones to do. Uh, prayer is one that's kind of less AFK, I guess. Uh, but what you want to do is just bury bones like right where you are. Just put it on your on your uh, on your action bar and then just spam it. Uh, and then you'll basically be able to complete it fairly quickly. Uh, it might be slightly costly, um, but you'll do it very quickly. So it depends on, on whether you want to actually do it properly, which is archaeology screening, or just spend quite a bit of money to just complete it quickly. Then number 33, fishing or woodcutting or earn marks of war. Now this is a fairly long one that I would definitely be thinking about using my skip token on. Uh, the marks of war, you know, if you're into your bossing and you're doing lots of it, then I guess that you could just take this time to just do some bossing. Um, otherwise, yeah, the fishing or woodcutting, that's kind of a task that is pretty slow either way that you pick. So yeah, go with the skip ticket if you've still got one at level 33, or alternatively just do a bit of bossing and then save them for even later levels where it might be slightly harder. Now, then we'll move on to number 34, rune crafting. Obviously, a no-brainer there. You'll just want to do that. It's fairly quickly, obviously, because you can convert a lot of um, essence into runes. So, you know, you complete a large proportion every single run that you do of rune crafting. Now, as far as number 35, a bit of a bigger one, you'll get like an upgraded uh, hair pet. So it's kind of just an, an extra one. Um, then you'll also get 2% uh, more construction XP for the rest of the act track and 500 oddments. So it's another big one or another big level. Every five levels, you tend to get a bigger reward with the act track. Um, and then you'll also want to have to do agility or construction. For me personally, I'm going to do construction because it's quicker generally anyway. Um, so yeah, just do construction for 35. Then 36, cooking or rune crafting. Rune crafting um, will be slightly faster, I believe, but cooking will probably be more FK and the one that you will more than likely want to actually just do uh, because it is that much faster. Then number 37, Archaeology is the one I would go for. Mini games tend to take quite a lot of time, especially in the current uh, RuneScape kind of meta at the minute, where not that many people play mini games. It's not kind of the the core game, so you'll probably be spending a long time actually just trying to get into games on mini games in RuneScape. So yeah, Archaeology is the way to go with this one. And moving on, number thirty-eight, thieving or mining. You want to do thieving every single day of the week. Mining tends to be one of the longer. Uh, tasks on the yak track so yeah do thieving for this one and you'll be pretty much there fairly quickly or alternatively you can do that kind of really boring mining where it's not very fk whatsoever and you have to kind of just drop all of the copper that you're doing with the low tier mining resources in game now Number 39, wood cutting or fire making or hunter. Now with this one, fire making, fairly FK. You can do it pretty easily. You want to use it a prif or somewhere where you can get close to a bonfire uh, really, really quickly. So that that will be an easy task, you know, AFK uh, in the background whilst you're doing something else. Maybe you've got an alternate account, so you can do that instead. Then as far as number 40, this is another big one. You'll get the Heffin Ranger cosmetic override, the Serin Crystal Terra Teleport, and uh, a medium protein power up, 2% more agility XP, and then 500 oddments and boosted progress on the next Yak track. So you'll get like a, an extra um, boost uh, for the next one. As far as um, what you want for this task, you've got Herb Law or Divination. For me personally, going to pick Herb Law. Uh, it's more costly, uh, but it will get it done quicker. And since I'm not 120 Herb Law yet, that will be the one that I want to do since Divination doesn't actually go higher than 99 uh, currently anyway, as of the recording of this video. Now for number 41, Dungeoneering or Smelting. Smelting is going to be much quicker, so you want to do that. It's fairly AFK, you know, just go to um, the Artisan's Workshop and just do that. Fairly easy, going to get you uh, your smelting exp or smelting requirement uh, for the level fairly quickly uh, within this one. Then number 42, uh, Summoning or Skill and Kill. Obviously just do Summoning because it's going to be quicker. Uh, generally anyway so it's up to you which one you want to do maybe take it as a break depending on how much you are grinding towards the act track uh, but if you are trying to fast track it then summoning will be the way to go 
Then number 43, archaeology screening or cooking. Uh, really depends on which one you want to get. If you're trying to get some more archaeology XP like me, then I'm going to do the archaeology one every single day of the week. Um, but yeah, go for it. Uh, whichever one will basically be easier for you. Then number 44, Blade of uh, Sailor, and you'll also get some other kind of XP bonuses. Uh, and the ones that you want to be doing is obviously thieving. That will probably be quicker uh, than divination and clue scroll. So go with thieving for number 44. Number 45, you want to go with uh, basically the construction, or you can alternatively just use a a skip ticket because this one is a fairly boring one to do not afk whatsoever or very afk but it's going to take you ages um so yeah depends on whether you want to actually grind through this and it will be quite a meaty one as well considering it's level 45 so you'll have some really high requirements for the act track on this one so do whatever you want to do if you've got a skip ticket and you saved it up this far this is a, a decent one to actually use it on um, and certainly you'll get this uh, this pet fairly quickly and it means you can move on to the next one and you will get the 2% archaeology XP and 500 oddments. Then number 46, uh, Seren Spirit Hunt or Skill and Kill. So Seren Spirit Hunt will get you there quicker um, but you might want to take a break depending on uh, what you're doing. Number 47, Hunter or Agility, go with Hunter, it will be quicker. Um, depending on if you want to max agility if you haven't already then you can do that or, or go with the hunter number 48 rune crafting or earn marks of war rune crafting will be much faster on this one and yeah it's the one i'd be going for number 49 archaeology excavation or farming uh, archaeology excavation excavation will be the one that you want to go for because farming takes an absolute eternity to basically complete and the excavation one will actually make you uh, basically get there a lot lot faster in game so make sure that you're using the archaeology excavation because you can go to somewhere like the venator remains and uh, of zaros you know the very first ever archaeology um, dig site that you actually use and yeah you'll get it very very quickly uh, comparatively uh, between the two and then number f uh, 50 you will get the Dark Crystal Cosmetic Override, you'll get the Dark Crystal Two-Handed Sword, the Cadacious Stag Pet, the Large Protein, a Huge Supreme Star, a Large Cadge Bag, 2,000 augments, and a Huge Smoldering Lamp. Now, in order to do this, crafting or skill and kill, uh, for me, it's going to be crafting because it will be faster. Uh, but if you saved up your skill uh, or your skip token until this point, and you don't want to do either of these, and you just want to get the reward done, then use it on that one. Uh, but other than that, that is literally um, all of the kind of ways that I would go and the route that I would take. Um, do I think that this Yak Track is worth it um, in order to actually get the Premier one? Uh, personally, I'd say, you know, it's not bad. It gets you plenty of XP throughout the whole thing. You get a lot of cosmetic overrides. Um, and it gives you a bit of a diversity in what you're doing. It kind of means that you don't have to pick a skill at certain points because you can just do whatever um, the the tasks are. But for max players, you probably won't find it as entertaining because you're it's kind of limiting what you, activities you can do rather than the ones you actually enjoy. So it's a bit of a, a throw up, to be honest. But for those of you who do have the Premier Pass, you can just do it on the back burner. You won't have to focus too hard on it. And hopefully... Uh, that will be good for you guys who decide to use the Yak Track. Obviously, I'm only at number two. I haven't actually started properly yet, uh, but I'll be looking to do that within the next couple of days and uh, hopefully get to level 50 fairly fast uh, using these routes that I've taken. If you guys found the video somewhat helpful as to decide which ones you want to go for, that was absolutely fantastic and that's kind of what I was aiming for. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to actually just comment down below what you'd like to see, which tracks you'd like to use. And also, uh, basically, whatever videos you want to see. Do you want to see uh, money-making guides? Do you want to see RuneScape 3 um, skill guides? Do you want to see various different guides for RuneScape? Then make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see all of the content that I produce on a regular basis for RuneScape. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you found the video informative. If you want to check out my previous video, it will be on screen right now. Other than that, once again, hope you have a nice rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.